A while back, I took it upon myself to try out every single mod and ROM hack I could find for Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. And though many of them were... not great, there was one in particular that really stood out from the rest. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Last Memories was the mod that really piqued my interest. It looked legit, and had an attention to detail and depth that most other mods lacked. There's new cards, new fusions, new monster types, card rarities, card effects, even new pathways through the game, including new encounters and alternate endings, making New Game Plus something actually worth your time. It still looks like the Forbidden Memories you'll recognise, but feels and plays very differently. That is to say, it can be pretty brutally difficult sometimes, not nearly as bad as many of the other mods out there, but it still requires you to do some research, experimentation and grinding if you want to even escape the prologue. So during my initial testing of the mod, I didn't actually get very far into it. I was curious to revisit it and explore it in more depth, so I recently started going through it live on stream in an attempt to beat it. And I even have the developer of the mod hanging out and helping us with advice which is pretty cool. As of right now I'd say I'm about halfway through the game. So this video will cover everything the game has to offer up to that point, including my thoughts, experiences and everything I've learned along the way. Whether you're considering trying out this mod for yourself, or have been playing it and came here looking for tips and tricks, well then you've come to the right place. Let's take a trip through Yu-Gi-Oh! The Last Memories, the culmination of 25 years of Forbidden Memories modding. When you first load into a new game, Yu-Gi will greet you and teach you how to make the game not crash. It's strange and doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but if you don't follow these instructions, you'll most likely be met with an error message as soon as you enter a duel. And in case you were wondering, yeah, this method does work for all other mods as well, at least for EPSXE. If you're using Duck Station or another emulator, they seem to just lack compatibility with most mods. So after performing the save restart technique, when you load your save file, you'll be in ancient Egypt being greeted by Simon in attire more closely matching his appearance in the anime and manga. And this is where the first deviation from the normal story progression occurs, because you're forced to duel Simon and can't run away. Before the duel, however, you can get a good look at your deck and the kinds of new cards that are provided to you in this mod. All the original game's cards have been replaced or modified in some way, and they even have a sleek new design with more prominent attack and defense values, and coloured card borders to indicate different types of cards, like purple borders for fusions and blue for ritual cards. You'll also notice the different coloured names which indicate a card's rarity, and in order of rarity it is yellow, orange, red, purple, then blue being the rarest. You should get a nice mix of creatures including a few basic effect monsters and a couple decent beat sticks as well. You may see a new monster type in Psychic as well, or monsters with one of three new Guardian stars, as these are a couple of the new additions to the game with this mod. I also believe Alistair is a guaranteed rare card you get which will be the core of a number of useful fusions throughout the game, as he gives you different results based on the attribute in which he's fused with for some very strong effect cards. You'll also get a few spells and traps including a couple of equips and utility cards for card destruction or attack prevention. Now, if it's your style, you could go to a site called Taya Online and look up the different fusions you could make with the cards you've been given, or just jump right into the duel and start experimenting. But here's a few strong fusions to look out for to get you started. Any two dragons with the same name will produce first of the dragons, a 2700 which buffs themselves and other dragons by 1000 when summoned making themselves a 3700 attacker on drop. A low attack thunder and dragon will make thunder dragon dark, which can then be fused with another dragon to make dragon duo, and a further dragon to make dragon titan, a solid 3200 attack beat stick. And my personal favourite, a low attack fairy with winged beast will make sacred crane. Adding another fairy into this makes bright bird of divinity, a 2800 attack which buffs fairies by 700, making themselves a 3500 on drop. And there are a ton of other fusions to discover as well, which is one of the reasons I love this mod so much. It's a lot of fun to just try out different strategies and see what you can find. Heading into the duel with Simon, he shouldn't be too much of a challenge, especially if you've done a little research into fusions beforehand. However, he won't be a complete pushover, so you need to pull out a somewhat half-decent fusion sooner rather than later. Luckily, the 2000 bonus starting life points will grant you some extra time to find your footing. Which by the way, there's a very good reason this mod ups the life points to 10,000. You'll learn to be grateful for it very quickly, because while it starts off fairly reasonable for this first duel, the attack values of monsters get out of hand rapidly. Which is really my only issue with this mod, but we'll get more into that later. For now, let's see how my own first duel with Simon went. 
<laughs> I'm scared to try things. You know what? Let's try a fairy dragon, then a thunder. Fairy dragon, thunder. Okay, fairy dragon works. I made whatever the fuck that is, and it doesn't mix with thunder. So we're off to a great start. Ooh, okay. So I have thunder dragon dark, right? Can I mix you with a thunder? That's a very normal fusion in the original game. Thunder plus dragon? Nope. <laughs> fuck my life. Uh, bad guardian star. Wow, I immediately fucked up. <laughs> Love that. I guess I'll just try you two. Bird spellcaster! I, I know Alice is pr- Okay then. <laughs> I know Alice is pretty strong. What the fuck? Okay, bird plus Alistair makes invoked Magellanica. Mods are wild, aren't they? Do I have another dragon? Oh, okay, we'll try this Blockman dragon. Oh, it's a, I guess, rock dragon. Oh, no, it's literally block dragon. I was like, oh, it's a rock type. It must, must do something. Wow, so there's very specific fusions too. Okay, so we know Blockman plus dragon makes block dragon, right? Let's try like a normal rock dragon, perhaps. And maybe try mixing a thunder into that too. Because I want to try and make, like, the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon equivalent. So, Rock Dragon makes Luster Dragon. Luster Dragon does not mix with Thunder, though. Interessante. So, after defeating Simon without too much trouble, we were gifted Silent Magician Level 4. Which brings us to another cool and interesting change this mod makes, in that the first time you beat a character for the campaign, you're granted a specific card drop so you should always get something half-decent and semi-rare every time you progress the story. And for an example of why this is a brilliant addition, mixing this Silent Magician level 4 with the Time Wizard of Tomorrow you get guaranteed from Jono, fuses to make Silent Magician level 8. So regardless of how bad your gacha luck is, the game will always give you a way to make a 3500 monster during the prologue. Leaving Simon behind, you are now free to proceed with the prologue as normal going to the duel field and dueling Taya and the villager gauntlet as per usual. But if you take the time to look around the town before this, you may notice Haishin's guard is not at the shrine like normal. Instead, you're asked if you would like to proceed onwards into the unknown. Which is probably a terrible idea, unless you're into getting beaten up by an ancient Egyptian cat girl. Which of course I am, so I tried dueling her. Now this is our first example of a deviation in the campaign designed for New Game Plus because this fight is in no way designed to be beaten with the deck you'd normally have at this point. We'll try it. Hey! I made this thing! What are you? Thunder Dragon Duo? Oh, so if I add another dragon on, it does more. Oh, okay. I mean, that might that might not be strong enough for, for Catgirl, but... Dogs, Cats, and Jackals are completely different thing. Oh, he just fucking Ryoku'd me. Um, <laughs> that's neat. I'm at half life now, and he has a 5,500. Cool. Um, <laughs> hi, you're a fiend. No, you're a rock. Oh my lord, I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have the facilities for this big man. Oh, we can try mixing something with Alistair. Not that it'll match 7,250 though. I guess I'll try wind with Alistair. Oh, okay. What are you? A warrior. Invoked Rage Yin. Change the battle position of all monsters your opponents control when summoned. Oh, neat. If you were stronger, this would be useful. Okay, time to kill ourselves. I'm not sure what lies beyond this duel if you do manage to beat it. I assume one of the mod's alternate endings, or perhaps a rare unique card you can't unlock anywhere else, perhaps. Either way, let's get back on track with the normal campaign for now. Heading to the duel grounds, Taya is there as you'd expect, and her interaction hasn't changed at all. But her deck certainly has. This mod does a great job giving everybody decks that are more on brand to their characters in the show. And Taya is no exception, with her now being souped up with some strong fairy cards. If you already know a few solid fusions to pull off, she shouldn't give you too much trouble, although she can pull out Bird of Divinity at 3500 attack occasionally, which is pretty scary. Wait, she gained 100 life points? Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> well, welcome to the second duel of the game, everybody. 
Increase the power of fairies by 700 when summoned? Dude! It buffed itself by 700. What's like a fairy dragon? Is there going to be like a fairy dragon? There is. Would you like to mix with another dragon? No, you would not. Okay. Hi, I would like to die, please. Hey, I like that card. That's the one I have. <laughs> Big scary fairy man. By asking it to go away nicely. Yeah, that would be really good in the case of if I had a removal that wasn't specifically targeted to dark types. Would you believe me if this is one of the better mods for difficulty scaling? A lot of other mods are worse than this for difficulty scaling. Taya summoning a 3500 is not the worst I've seen. <laughs> Which is a terrifying statement to make. So Thunder Dragon plus Dragon. If I get an, a third Dragon? We'll wait and see. That was completely accidental. <gasps> Another Dragon? Right? Oh, I... Okay, the thing with mods that bothers me, right, is they give me such anxiety. Like, I already have a 2800, which is stronger than Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. So the idea of adding another card to a card that's already stronger than Twin-Headed scares the crap out of me. Okay, you know what? I guess we'll just try Marsh Macaron plus Alice the Invoker. Sure. Invoked Makara. What do? Increase the power of light monsters by 500. Oh my god. Okay. We found a combo. Well. We found much better cards than I originally did in my, in my review playthrough. After Taya, the villager gauntlet has been altered slightly, with the villagers not just being throwaway characters now, which is cool. With Fizdis, one of the pharaoh's servants, replacing villager 1 and one of Haishin's guards replacing Villager 2. Then Villager 3 just doesn't exist, which from a technical standpoint, I'm assuming that character became the new Timekeeper duel at the shrine. Again, these two duels generally aren't too difficult if you have a strategy for your deck already, but Fizdis' fire deck can be pretty nasty at times if you don't shut her down fast enough. You know what? Fairy Warrior. I've got a good feeling about Fairy Warrior. Well, I was wrong. Oh no, I remember you. If I leave this on field, doesn't it? Doesn't he evolve it into even more of a higher form? Uh oh, is that another one? No, that's a red rising dragon. Uh, why is my wife so scary? She's terrifying. So those two mix to make sacred crane. You do work. Okay, I got big bird. Yay! Big bird. I got Big Bird. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't mind this. It's still still Winged Beasts. I'm still happy with a bird deck. Can I make, like, <laughs> double block dragon? Because he looks like Legos, right? So if I just add more blocks onto him, does he, like, does he get thicker if we add more blocks to him? I would hope so. Oh, Mermaid Knight can attack twice. That's terrifying. He goes from Lego to Mega Blocks. It makes so much sense now. I feel like this was a thing. Wait, let's try Fairy Dragon Fairy. Can I add a fairy onto you? I can! Oh, <gasps> You're so cool! Wait, I can do Fairy Dragon Fairy? Shining dragon that came from another dimension? Let's go. A block dragon is a real card. Ah, oh, okay, that's good. I'm glad. People hate it? Love that. I'm glad people hate the Lego man. Because it's the problem that a lot of these mods have, right? Is they expect you to, like, basically Google what your best fusions are and then grind to make your deck more consistent. But I don't think that's in the uh, the style of the original game because the original game was before the internet. So, to me, Forbidden Memories is all about discovering, like, a big fusion and then abusing the hell out of it. Rather than just being like, oh yeah, let's, let's Google the answers. No. We don't Google answers here. I need my Thunder Dragon. I gotta find my Thunder Dragon like ASAP. Oh, you mix. Oh right, that makes Glass Goddess. Well, I've got a second one. <laughs> Good thing I made two. 
do, 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 do. Let's go! Yay, it works! <laughs> Alright, we're fine. Oh, wait, that's only duo? Oh, fuck. Well, I made duo, not Colossus. I needed another dragon. But hey-ho, it's fine. <laughs> it's good enough. Oh, this guy sucks. <laughs> I, I got so used to fighting my waifu, uh, Pyre, and this guy is not actually that scary. Anyway, here's Block Dragon. <laughs> Motor violence? That's another word for vehicular manslaughter. This game's story is... I'm sorry, I only just read that. This game's story is 80% changed is insane. With those guys out of the way, Taya drags us to the plaza to watch Jono get his ass handed to him by Seto. It's nice to see some things never change. At this point, you could go straight to the duel field and duel Jono and Seto as you would normally, but I would highly recommend saving and heading to free duel to grind for a while, in order to streamline your deck around your preferred strategy. This is because the game has quite a sudden difficulty spike here, and you'll need a much more consistent deck and strategy if you want to get through these two duels. Jono isn't too bad, although he does pull out Phoenix Gear Freed at 3500 attack quite often, so you'll need to make sure you have an answer to that at least. But the real issue here is Seto. Quite commonly he plays Thunder Dragon Titan at 3200 attack. He also likes to play First of the Dragons quite often at 3700 attack and buffing his other dragons by 1000. And at absolute worst he will pull out Thunder Dragon Lord which comes out at 4,000 attack and buffing any other Thunder Dragons he has by 1,000 as well. And to top it all off, Seto runs quite a few equip spells as well, meaning all these guys typically come out buffed by either 500 or 1,000 more attack. And just making one boss monster won't be enough, as you'll need to watch out for his Destruction Ring, Exploder Dragon and Crush Card Virus, all of which have card destruction effects. He's a brutal fight and I can occasionally still lose to him in free duels with my mid-game deck. Seto is the gatekeeper to the end of the prologue, and is also your first look into the real game, as he shows you exactly what to expect from the rest of the mod going forward. If you can't find a way to beat him, and don't want to grind, then you would not survive the trials that are yet to come. You will need to grind every few duels to improve your deck, and sometimes you'll just get unlucky and lose regardless of how well prepared your deck is. It's somehow very alike to the modern Yu-Gi-Oh game. If you brick, then you just lose turn two and if your opponent gets an amazing opening hand, then there's nothing you can do to stop them. And games will typically be over in about 5 turns, unless you can pull out your get out combo. If the sound of that doesn't turn you away, then you'll be glad to know that grinding in this is actually quite forgiving. That's because of a number of reasons. The first being drops make sense to the character you're grinding. At this stage in the game, you can grind Simon for dark types and a number of useful equip spells, or Taya for fairies and winged beasts if you want to adopt a bird of divinity strategy. And Fizdis, or Panya as she's called in this game, has a lot of fire and plant types if you prefer that style instead. Also, getting the cards you want isn't a total gamble. SA Pal victories usually net you more powerful monster drops, whereas SA Tech victories will reward you with more spells and traps that are appropriate to their own deck strategy. Another great addition this mod includes, which is not immediately apparent, is that you'll notice you never go above three copies of any card in your library. That's because duplicates past three copies are automatically converted into bonus star chips. Meaning you may not realise it, but you probably have a ton of star chips to use if you've been grinding for a while. And you might be able to buy some new cards you need to help you out. If you need a list of passwords, you can find those on Taya Online as well. Anyways, let's see how I got on against Jono and Seto. With a little bit of grinding between each of our attempts. I'm curious what Joey's going to play because we never got this far in the review. Oh, he plays Phoenix Gear Free. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Dragon Knight of Creation plus Flame Swordsman. Dragon, Dragon Knight Felgrand. Joey's got such a cool deck. This is not going to be strong enough, is it? It's 2,800, though. Oh, come on! <laughs> God damn it. I done goofed. Wrong star. Can I mix you with a plant? Good sir, do you like plants? No, you don't. Okay. Kill me! Joke's on you, you were wrong. <laughs> I don't die next turn, I die this turn. I go out on my own turns. I don't know, I just want, like, original. Yeah, Tag Force 5. I've never played the Tag Forces after one. Did that guy just do damage to me? Just by being someone? Bro. Um, 
Holy shit, you're 4,000 attack now? Christ. What did I miss? Well, I wasn't paying attention. I like Spirit Caller and Nightmare Troubadour, but the having to hunt the plot down sucks. Oh my lord. Flame Champion is 4,700. Christ. Um, this sucks. <laughs> how the hell do I beat a 4,700? And how did you get so much attack? Oh, increase power of fire monsters by 700 and you summon two of them. Well, time to kill ourselves. You know what weird Yu-Gi-Oh game I want to play, but I, you can't anymore? There was a Yu-Gi-Oh arcade machine. I forget what it's called, but there was a Yu-Gi-Oh arcade machine. And you can still buy those arcade machines, and I want one so badly. <laughs> I want to replay Capture Monsters. Oh, uh, Falsebound Kingdom is the other one, but I've never played that one. <gasps> Time Wizard of Tomorrow? Oh, oh, what? Uh oh. Uh, ah! I've lost myself! Come back to me, me! Don't steal my body! <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming back! <laughs> it's because I'm getting a new model soon. My, uh, my soul is leaving this body too soon. My soul is trying to leave this body too early. Ooh, a hard drop 2800. Wait. Thousand dragon? Jesus. Okay. Um, we got some good cards out of Joey. Just a couple. Okay, wait. We can make big dragon here. Please be good enough to beat Seto. This is going to be 2,800. If you're not good enough to beat Seto, I'm going to be very sad. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck me. Kaiser with double equips. And you had a Guardian Star bonus too. Huh, my traps aren't good enough. <laughs> I can't even use my traps. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, that's my card! You don't get to use that. Well, I... I can make Thunder Dra I can make my own miniature Thunder Dragon. I think we just die this time. Because we didn't get the equips we needed. I got a really cool Gear Freed card and I didn't even see it. Yeah, that's Forbidden Memories in a nutshell, is mill your entire hand until you pull the really strong card. I thought 2,800 might be good enough, but apparently Kaiba says 3,500 or nothing. So, Kaiba is insane. We get some cool cards off of Joey, but I can't save them. I have to beat Kaiba immediately after. Because I can make the big fire thing. Oh... Oh, what the hell is this now? Magister's Conflagnant Calamity. What are you? <laughs> you look like my new VTuber model, what? So yeah, if I don't get a good fusion turn one, we kind of get fucked. We kind of just lose. This is not going to be the strongest Thunder Dragon we can make. But I think it's enough. Because it's, what, 2,800 plus 1,000? We could have made it stronger, but this will have to do. Cool! I've chosen the wrong Guardian Star. <laughs> At least I only got 500. I always pick the wrong Guardian Star somehow. Even though I just choose at random, I somehow always pick wrong. We'll make Block Dragon. That was a Blockman, was it? Why did I think that was Blockman in my brain? We made a cool looking dragon to bait him in, I guess. <gasps> Crony! Welcome back. Suck it, Crony! I mean, I love you, but Kiara be stronger, apparently. I don't really use fire, though. <gasps> Man, throw throw! <laughs> is that Ojama it's throwing? Yes, yes, it is. Ah, uh, Man, throw throw, my boy! All right. Is this strong enough, Kaiba? Uh, I guess I got a sun. Is 3,500 good enough? <laughs> I sure hope so. 3,200? And you don't buff. Yippee! <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Oh, and it gets even better. Okay. <laughs> Look at my HP! <laughs> 
The lesbians keep winning! Double KFP power! Is that something to be concerned about? Yes it is! You just summoned a 4,500 out of fucking nowhere. Because of course you did. Increase the power of Thunder Dragon monsters you control by a thousand? Bro, how did you do that? How do I make Thunder Dragon Lord? I need this in my deck. That guy's crazy. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, we're a little bit fucked. I need to ritual summon it. But he didn't. <laughs> but, but Seto didn't ritual summon for it. Man, we were so close to. We had a really strong card on field and then he's just like, nope. Thunder Dragon Lord out of nowhere. All right, Seto. Now I see how Joey lost to you. Because you have the option of just pulling out 4,500 out your ass. He's just double equipping Flame Guardian. Or Flame Swordsman, even. That's terrifying. Because I need another dragon to make it the big dragon. <gasps> Yo! Guilty Gear for it's a thing? Bro looks badass. Fine, you know what? I'll just make this guy then. You know what? Actually, give him blistering winds too. Who needs the titan? Two heads is enough. Ow. Oh, because the it just un Oh, it doesn't undo the effect damage. It should have made him take effect damage. That would have been hilarious. Please don't summon something stronger than 3000 with your first monster. That's 3,000 on the dot. And it buffed itself. Pfft. If you'd stayed at 3,000, I would have killed you with a trap card. Oh no, it's 3,500 on the dot. Hey, okay. We're just going to stare each other down. Are you for real? You can do that. You can just say no. <laughs> Don't play the game, actually. <laughs> God, I hate Kaiba. Kaiba sucks to duel. Yeah, the AI is straight up cheats, for sure. Bro, we we matched. We matched attack points, we matched each other's freak, and he was just like, nah, get out of here. Oh, Seto's gonna be a major pain. Like, I don't know how much more we could grind. Like, we have a good card and we're getting it out consistently. He just has better cards. <laughs> I don't know if learning more fusions would help. We already have a couple really strong fusions. It's just he's saying, no you. Whenever... <laughs> Whenever we make something pretty strong, he just says, no you. Like this. Oh, this is Joey even. That's not even Kaiba, I just realized. This is Joey just pulling out the bullshit. Turn one. I guess we'll go to Tear and get some more equips then. No, oh, kill me! Why am I still alive? <laughs> oh! Hello, Battle Guard King. That's a new one. If I use Totem Bird, it, me it may s makes it messy. I gotta try... I might take Totem Bird out, actually. 4,100, okay. I have so many birds. Fucking birds. <laughs> Don't need them. I need another fairy. And an equip. Or two. Or three. Okay, Sacred Crane and Totem Bird do not mix. I need to take Totem Bird out of this deck. That's not the one I thought it was. I mean, it still works, but it's definitely not. I got it mixed up with the 3000 attack one. In my brain, even though I have Aphantasia, I know exactly what the thing looks like. Uh, Fox Girl Anime Thing. It... Wow! I love how Google knew exactly what I was looking for! <laughs> I Googled it and it's like the first result was like, yep. This is the image you're looking for, right? The helpful Fox Senko-san had a friendly Kitsune. That's... That's why I couldn't remember the name of it. <sighs> well, now that's out of the way. <laughs> hey, Castlevania's back. Ooh, that's unfortunate. 
Oh, right. He does do piercing. I wasn't paying... I was thinking about Senko, okay? <laughs> you gotta cut me some slack. I was thinking about Senko. Right, Seto. Do not play your 4,500 thing. Do not play a 4,200 the second I make anything above 3,500. All right. 3,000. Your move, Kaiba. <clears throat> Two thousand nine hundred. <gasps> he didn't turn one me. Who is this man, and what have you done with Kaiba? <laughs> okay, if you're gonna crush card anything, I'd welcome it to be that. This at least makes whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Just do a bit of damage, a little poke. Finally finished the grind. Welcome back. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome back to this nightmare, son. Or is that bad? Fuck me, dude. Why do I always... It's a 50-50. Why do I always choose the wrong one? I always somehow pick the wrong Guardian Star every time. I'm going to krill myself. I mean... It's Jova. Alright, just don't crash into it. Be passive, Seto. Just be passive, Lamel. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was never gonna work, was it? Boom. Big ass, giant, earth monster. Yay! <laughs> I like when Joey goes into defense. Alligator sword? That's a big equip. Holy! Oh, and of course you have bonus Guardian Star too. What the hell? That was huge. The fuck was that about? Bruh? Please, I've got like eight birds in this deck. It's like a one in four chance almost. Or maybe like a one in five. It's over between a one in four and one in five chance. Why can I not pull? That's, again, not the correct thing. <laughs> If you missed the stream of this a couple of weeks ago, we, um, well, I was going to say we made some progress. And then as I was loading up the stream, I checked my free duel and realized, oh, we've won four duels. We have not made actually a lot of progress. We've made some progress, but in, in these mods, maybe four duels is a lot of progress. I, I remember Tome Bud does not make the thing we need it to make. And I forgot Joey sleeps for 2,800. Oh, wait, you're 2,800 already? Oh, but you're insanely overpowered already. Well, let's get ourselves killed then. <laughs> now I remember the fusions. Now we can restart. <laughs> I don't remember if I have a fusion that drag that fireworks. Yeah, dragon fire, okay. Oh wait, I made the same creature he had, Lamau. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god, 4,500! Bro, he summoned fucking the Dragon Lord immediately! Dude! What do I do? <laughs> what do I do in that scenario? That's crazy. I just need to keep going until he doesn't summon them. Wow. Just a Ryu run. That feels oddly normal in this scenario. Like, I can't do any- I can't beat 4,500. Unless I get two. Like, this is the best I can do, is 4,000 at the moment. Unless I get two equips. Or a second bird out before this one dies. Okay. Guess I'll die. <laughs> I made a sacred crane. Time to KMS myself. <laughs> I love that of the one percentages. Yippee! Classic gacha game. You get from the memories is the original gacha. <gasps> Graceful dice is in this. Okay, three thousand two hundred. We might be able to beat over that. Not with this though. What the hell? What is- You know what, let's just throw all of our traps away, I guess. Oh, fuck my life. 
kill me! If I can get, like, two equips, I think we can do what I want to do here. I just need to survive a turn. Like, just, just survive a single turn. Are you 4,200? Are you even going to fuse into what I think you will? No, it doesn't work. This guy doesn't work the way I need him to. Kill me! I feel like this is important. They do not mix. Bio Falcon is not useful to me. Wait, does this work? This might not work, but I need to test it. It does not work. <clears throat> you failed me. I thought Thunder Dragon was on the cards. It was not. Oh yeah, it's not even a fairy type. Bro. Kill me! We had a bad hand. I need to swap out the dragons and thunders for more fairies then. I just want to get through Seto. I just want to progress, you know? We'll keep trying. Because so long as Seto doesn't bring out his 4,000 attack monster turn one, we can actually beat him. Anyway, I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> See, this is what we need against Seto. Although that's still only 4,500 with two equips. Uh, more? <laughs> more! More! He can't stop the bird train. Surely not. Surely you can't stop the bird train now. Let's also throw in a thunder dragon, because why not? <laughs> Screw you! I'm ahead of you with my big Kiara. Big shiny gay bird, let's go! Crush card virus. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> so with a little bit of grinding and a little bit of luck, you should be able to break past Jono and Seto and be free to make your way out of the end of the prologue. This part is mostly the same with Haishin just being an asshole and ruining everyone's day, then forcing you into a duel you aren't designed to win. But interestingly, he does ask you what terrain you'd like to play on, which is nice of him. And apparently winning here, then beating him again, prompts another of the mod's alternate endings. As opposed to just being an infinite loop of dueling him until you lose, which always really annoyed me. So I love this change actually, it makes beating Haishin here actually mean something. But yeah, dueling him in our current state is another terrifying vision of what's to come towards the end game of this mod. So I think I just got to choose what field we start with, that's pretty cool. Never mind. It was a power move. It was a fucking power move. Bro, was that an Elden Ring boss? The fuck was that creature? Escaping ancient Egypt, we don't wake up in the middle of a tournament. Instead, we wake up somewhere much more logical, in Yugi's bedroom, which is practically a penthouse apartment, and I especially love his teal color scheme and polymerization desktop wallpaper. Joey then bursts in without knocking to tell us we dozed off, as if that's not a totally normal thing for people to do in their bedroom. So apparently this mod changes the random tournament arc from the original game into the Battle City arc from the anime. Which makes a lot of sense, seeing as most of the characters are the same anyways, but it leaves room to easily add a few more familiar faces and it still makes sense contextually. Speaking of which, our first duel in the modern age is against Tristan. Apparently he wants to take part in the Battle City Tournament now, and we need to test out our decks before it starts. And I don't know when this guy learned to actually duel, because I thought his signature card was Cyber Commander. But here he's easily pulling out three to 4,000 attack warriors. It's definitely not what you'd expect out of him. But thankfully, he isn't too scary outside of that one creature, playing mid-2,000 attack monsters otherwise. If you can beat Seto, you can beat him so long as you don't get unlucky and Taya and Bakora are pretty much the same ordeal. They're all pretty straightforward, and with your current deck you should be able to beat all three of them, assuming they don't drop a massive boss monster on you which can range anywhere from 3000 to 6000 attack depending on RNG. Grinding here isn't necessary, but it isn't a bad idea as you'll have just unlocked Jono and Seto, who are great ways to farm pyro warriors and dragons respectively. You'll want a consistent deck here if you don't already, as the main issue with these duels is there's no save between them meaning you have to beat Tristan, Taya, and Bakora all in a row before you can save your progress. And this trend continues for the rest of the game, making every segment a 2 or 3 duel gauntlet, which can be especially brutal when winning duels from this point on can be a total coin flip. I'm scared of what Tristan's capable of. 
Surely nothing, right? Oh yeah, it's still it's still the tournament, just Battle City, so it's an actual tournament, not um not the fake ass tournament from the original game. Also, Tristan has a 3,700 monster. That's insane. Well, this sucks. Bro, it's Tristan. Why the fuck does Tristan have a 3,700? Jeez, I won. You must be getting... Ru Rusty, you summoned a 3,700 on the first turn. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen that before. Not out of you. Let me just say, I, I expected it out of Seto, but not you. God, Tristan looks so evil in this portrait. Why does he look so damn evil? Alright, are you going to summon your 3,700? Oh... Even if you do, I got an answer for it. My voice gives me super strength. <laughs> this is kind of on point. I do love doing his voice. He's a very fun voice to do. Bonfire Colossus. Don't know what that was about. When you go this, it looks like he could be Tristan's dad. Oh, yeah. The, um... Attention, duelists! My hair wants to make an announcement. That guy. Vulcan the Divine. Well, not so divine if you're dead. Wow, that went really well, actually. I don't know how we... <laughs> we bossed that shit so quickly. Oh my, so nervous about this tournament, I see... Wait. Uh-oh. Are we a gauntlet now? Oh, f I thought I'd get to save. Don't go easy on me, I got much better. Uh-oh. We don't get to save! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I pulled two birds and one fairy, so we immediately got... Bad RNG. Oh, boy! Okay. I... am okay with this outcome. That's not terrible. I... I was given grace for a turn. I thought we were going to be screwed because of no save, but... I... Excuse me! She just hard dropped a 5,500 on me. How do I deal with that? What? What do you want me to do about that? <laughs> I even put down the trap in anticipation, but it's too strong. That's insane. How do I even prepare for that? She's got another one. <laughs> How do I even prepare for that? The way she started with honest with a couple of quips, I was like, oh, okay. That ain't too bad, but you can't just hard drop a 5,000 attack monster on me. That's insane. Bro. Who is- You're not Taya. You are not Taya. I refuse to believe. <laughs> You're not the Taya I once knew. <laughs> You're an imposter. No save after Tristan into a- 6k beat stick is insane. That was so out of nowhere. And that's a 3,700, but I think that's like the strongest he can do. <gasps> Here comes the boy! Sorry, I. It's literally a garbage card for me, but. I made Shining Dragon just because I could. Hopefully, Taya doesn't pull that on me again, or at least it doesn't. Because she must have had a full hand of Earth, right? How did it get buffed that much? I need to have a look at that card if she plays it again. Because it literally got, like, double the attack. Hi, Taya. You're looking lovely, as always. Mai's cuter, though. Mai will always be cuter. Shield Crush! 
You know what? I've never seen the enemy use defense. Shield crush does not benefit me. Hey, is Bright Bird going to survive? It's 4,000 attack. Okay, she's doing the double equip low attack monster deal. Which means she's probably going to bring out her big beat stick next turn. So yeah, it is a 2,300 by base, but 800 per earth in hand. 4,000. So yeah, she had... She played this and the rest of her cards were Earth. This game has such fuck it we ball energy. That's so accurate though, yeah. It kind of is like that. It almost feels like you lose so quickly and easily. It almost doesn't feel like a loss, you know what I mean? It's just like, well, let's go again. T GG go next. <laughs> Get absolutely destroyed, Taya. See, when she doesn't play that card with four Earths in hand, it goes pretty well, actually. Finally, you're here. Oh, no. Can't wait to show you my new cards. Ready? Let's do this. Duel. Why do I gotta duel you? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's only 3,500, to be fair. That that was a lot of fusing to not get as far as I thought he was going to. Ayy. Get dead, Chaos Angel. So yeah, I make a 3,500. Does it die? Chain Disappearance. Oh, is that another Chain of Disappearance? <laughs> we chaining disappearances? Is Fuck it, we ball! <laughs> Attack into it again! <laughs> we go again! Oh, I was allowed through this time. Wow, I didn't expect to be allowed to attack. Oh, not again! Is it the same thing as before? It is, isn't it? It's another Chaos Angel. And it's equipped. I think I have to crush card now. I gotta get rid of that thing. Yes! <laughs> I like when he plays spell traps. Even if I do have to run into it. Alright, Tornado Dragon. Run into the trap for me! There goes his chain disappearance. The great thing about this build as well with Cestus is the fact I get to heal 2,800, I think. Yeah, I get to heal 2,800 as a result of this. Which is kind of nice. Because I recover that thing you hit me with. Fuck's sake! Bro, Bakora, chill! What is this? Why can we not play the game anymore? again! <laughs> Make another big bird! Hit him again! <laughs> and then the finishing blow with Prime! Oh my lord! That was so much effort! It like wasn't a hard duel, but also it felt so- Oh, I did a thing. It felt like so much effort. Oh my lord. Let's go to the city now, shall we? Is that the end of the gauntlet? Alright, we're here! Let's go find some challenges! Yay! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> After making it out of those supposed practice duels with our so-called friends, we're graced with a save point. And if you didn't grind before, you definitely want to do it now. Because up next is the Rex, Weevil and Esperoba gauntlet of duels. And these guys take the BS one step further by giving themselves a terrain buff by default, meaning everything they play is immediately buffed by 500 attack. Which is made worse by the fact the cards these guys are playing are already around the 3500 attack mark before buffs, so seeing 4000 plus attack creatures here is not uncommon. This is where I took the time to do some heavy grinding and bought myself some new cards to make stronger fusions. I'm sure there are plenty of strategies to adopt, but for an example, my strategy was to make a deck out of primarily wind attribute monsters. 
This way I was able to focus on fusing cards that benefited from an equip you get from Seto called Blustering Winds, which buffs Winds and Thunders by a thousand attack. In particular, I like to make Harpy's Pet Dragon, who can be fused through Time Wizard of Tomorrow from Jono and Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon I bought from the Password menu, which gets an 800 attack buff per Wind attribute in your hand when summoned, giving me a boss monster with the potential to reach around 6000 attack if I got lucky. But even with that in my arsenal, it wasn't going to be easy. Alright, well, let's see if this is good enough. I'm terrified. He gets a Wasteland buff for free. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He just gets a 4,500 out first turn. At least he, use, he does use dragons, at least. At least Rex is true to form now. Oh, my word. Cyber Dinosaur? Superconductor Tyranno! Bro, Rex has some cool cards. Bro, actually has like the fossil dinosaurs. That's awesome. Hey, Crush card. Watch him summon something also 4,000 attack. King Rex Dragon King. Can attack twice at 4k almost. Jesus Christ. Oh my word. Jesus, dude. You know, I was thinking about it as well, right? Our deck, isn't this deck basically like the love child of Joey and my Valentine? It's dragons and harpies. I guess Taya's also in there because we got fairies, but it's like mostly dragons and harpies. So it's like... Also, um, we're using Time Wizard, so it's like the love child of Joey and Mai. Oh my word, what is this hand? <laughs> oh, you never even played Original Forbidden Memories? It's alright. Original Forbidden Memories knowledge will not help you here. Keep the good work and beat that dinosaur. I will beat Dinosaur. You have my word. I didn't pull Harpy's Pet Dragon. I think we just lose. <laughs> this is basically what Forbidden Memories is, though. The numbers are inflated, but original Forbidden Memories is basically the same. Where it's like, oh, I didn't draw my big boss monster, I lose. <laughs> oh, I I had a great strategy in my hand, but I just didn't draw the correct card. That it... <laughs> I mean, it's pretty accurate to modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I drew three of my equips in the starting hand. Oh, I've bricked, I lose. Because <laughs> you also can't combo in this. Think modern Yu-Gi-Oh if you could never combo. You could play one card a turn and that is it. Maybe that's how... <gasps> Maybe it needs to come full circle. Maybe that's how Konami fixes modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Is they make it so you can only play one card a turn. <laughs> but yeah, so this is why this mod gets pretty insanely difficult. Because you have a turn to pull out a 7,000 boss monster. But yeah, Rex pulling out a 6,000... Normally they pull out four or five thousand every turn, but that's that's a bit excessive. Okay, here's one strategy in play, right? We play two of the same card into each other, makes first of the dragons. We have a three thousand seven hundred, baby. And what the fuck did he just do? Well, he just summoned something that's a three thousand eight hundred, exactly one hundred stronger than me. Yippee! Alright, let's hope he doesn't have anything else great in his hand. We just got rid of two of his big bosses. Surely he doesn't have another 4k. Surely not, right? He only has the field buff to his advantage. Well, this is another strategy I can pull out. I just didn't have any equips that time. I literally went from too many equips to zero equips. I can make it 3,500. But... If he didn't have terrain buff, we'd be fine! It is more fun to play than it looks. The original is especially. The original game is very grindy in the same way. Because the original game is very similar in the sense of you need to pull out a big boss monster or die. This, this is just inflated. The mods inflate the difficulty quite a lot by just having like 6k beat sticks. But yeah, it is, it is a very fun game and the mods are a lot of fun. But it does suffer from 1998 syndrome of, oh, you have to keep 
beating at a wall until it falls down. It's got that classic PS1 era of padding. You know what I mean? When, like, old, like, Mega Drive and PS1 games would, like, just inflate difficulty massively, like, from the halfway point onwards, just to pad for time. There we go. So this is a pretty good starting hand. We get Bright Bird, and Equip It Can Use. Boom! That's a 4K right there. Look at this! When you get a half-decent hand, you can play a 4K. It's fine. The only issue is, because you don't have any, like, draw cards... Oh, you have the correct Guardian Star, you piece of shit. Okay, don't use that Guardian Star, good to know. So that makes it 3,000 plus, I think we get a 1,600 buff for this? Oh yeah, so it's 4,600, there we go. So, <laughs> that's my strategy, is pull out Harpy's Pet Dragon with 4,600. So yeah, if... Minus 2,000?! I hate Rex. <laughs> oh, by the way, the AI in Forbidden Memories likes to cheat. I forgot to mention that. What does Wind Alistair do for us? I think he swaps battle positions. This might work for us. Hey. Okay. I got rid of another boss monster. Let's see if he plays another Shrink or maybe another 4K beat stick. What a fucking surprise! <laughs> this guy sucks! I hate Rex. Okay, so imagine he didn't have 500 extra attack on everything. This would be way more balanced, wouldn't it? This is where the AI cheating is at its worst, because in the main game, right? So, you know, I only have five cards in my hand, right? Yes. I was about to mention that, Takayaki, actually. So, in the main game... From about 70% of the way through the game onwards, we have five cards in our hand. The enemy, although it doesn't look like it, have 20 cards in their hand at any one time. So when you see them like chaining off loads of fusions like that, it's because it's not because they're lucky, it's because they have half their deck in their hand. The lights in my room just flickered. Uh, <laughs> I might just be able to spam equips on it and maybe that'll be good enough. Hey, it's a 4K. Are you lightning type? No. Uranus. Ah, he's a 4,500. Hey. See, this is why we keep Alistair around. Is Invoked Mechaba good enough? <gasps> he might be. Alright, this is what we need. This is what we needed. Once you get one boss monster out, you can escalate. The escalation is crazy. Oh my god. We're gonna beat him. And then we if we don't win the next duel, we have to go back anyway. Rex is nothing compared to my army of insects. Let me guess, you get a forest field buff. Because fuck me, right? Oh good, he has a forest buff. My favorite. Even if you don't like the game, you have to admit the dedication to modding this game for 25 years is insane. If I can get one or two blustering wins soon, we can crush his ass. Did you just make perfectly ultimate on the first turn? He made perfectly ultimate great moth turn one. You asked ultimate moth when? Ultimate moth. Also, I got both my solemn scoldings. I only have two of those in my deck, and I pulled both of them at the same time. What do you do? Increase power of insects by 700. Well. That's a 4k beat stick, but I have a 5,200 beat stick, so screw yourself. Yeah, pretty much. We have a deck with a bunch of strategies that all kind of intertwine a little bit. We just need to pray we don't brick, because we have no way to unbrick ourselves. That's the issue with Forbidden Memories just in general, though. So our strategy works. We have dragons... Everything is a wind to buff this guy. And then, even if we don't get our time wizard, baby... Because it has to be specifically time wizard and baby dragon that we mix. So if I can't pull that very specific combo, then I can pull out thunder dragon or sacred crane. We have so many options, and they all kind of work with the same equips. Hello, Esperoba. 
I was hoping I would save the game soon, but quit with the arrogance. I can see through it. I can see through every card of yours. Yeah, you little cheater. I mean, it's that point of the game, though. Everybody cheats at this stage. All right. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, I get debuffed by this field. Uh-oh. Um, okay, let's just throw shit against a wall until I get half these dragons. Yeah, this is when you gave up on fairy. I do- Okay, this is where I can start utilizing dragons more so. And actually, Tornado Dragon plus Prime Material makes first of the dragons, which is a 3,700. And I guess I'll choose Moon? He's definitely not Sun, so... Let's go! First of the dragons. Why did he lose life points when that got summoned? That's concerning. Ooh, you have a bonus. Okay, attempt this. Oh, it's fine. I don't know why he lost life points when he summoned that. This is what we need Alistair for. Because these two together makes... Purgatrio, which gets a buff based on how many cards are in the grave, which should be quite a few. There it is, 4,400. Boom. My deck is working! <laughs> the deck I built is working! And they said... Harpies would not function at a high level. I lost! My Esper power is defeated by you! Yeah, you can't beat first of the dragons, bitch. If you made it through, then congrats, you've earned yourself another save point. Before you carry on, you might want to grind a little. Although, unless you plan on pivoting into a dinosaur or insect deck, you likely won't find much that will be of use to you out of these three. Although Rex does have Red Eyes Black Dragon, which is a cool pickup for dragon decks if you're lucky. Now, remember earlier when I said that the numbers quickly start to get out of hand? Well, if you thought it wasn't ridiculous enough already, this is where things get real bad. This gauntlet only consists of two duels, Bones and Bandit Keith. But if one doesn't give you a hard time, the other surely will to an excessive degree. Bones is more of the same as before. 4,000 attack and beat 6 come out almost guaranteed now. But at this stage of the game, if you've made it this far, you probably have an answer for that. It's just a question of whether you'll be able to pull it out in time or not, before he adds more equips onto it to buff it up to 5,000 and beyond. Thankfully, with your save right before it, you can just keep going at it until you're given a chance to advance. Keith is where the problems begin. Because he runs a machine deck, that means only one thing is waiting for you. Limiter Removal. In this mod, Limiter Removal doubles the attack of any of his machine monsters, which typically have upwards of 3,000 attack already. Yes, it costs him half of his life points to use it, but that's hardly a price to pay when you end up staring down the barrel of a 7,000 attack death machine. This means that this duel is a race against time. If Keith doesn't use his equip on his first turn, you better hope you can take him down quickly before it shows up on turn 2 or 3. There are a few answers to this. An Exploder Dragon from Seto, a Solemn Scolding best obtained from Tana, Inverse Universe from the Mage Guard, or you could try to obtain a Chainsaw Insect from Weevil, which destroys all machines when played. But good luck having these cards around when you need them, and even then the traps might trigger on the wrong monster. This duel is not fun, and is just an anxiety simulator. You can pull out your best monster and have it overpowered in an instant. You can lay a trap to try and predict it coming, and have it wasted on something lower than 3000 attack. And you know that, despite your best efforts, if you lose this duel, you need to hope you can beat Bones again to even be granted another chance at Keith. It sucks, and I was stuck here for quite some time. Oh, not Wasteland again. Oh my lord. Why is bro mixing four things together? Okay, it's a four- it's a 4,300. That's not terribly far away. Oh my lord. Where did Bonds get this? I need to actually pay attention to Guardian Stars. Oh, wait, you're not considered Wind or Lightning? Oh, no, he's a... he's just Dragon. Oh, well. Dang it! I can't give First of the Dragons any of my equips. Crap. But alas. A potential... A potential way out. Depending on how many cards were in the grave. Oh, not enough. I wasn't sure how many were in the grave. 
Alright. We'll just lose. We did save right before this, so it's fine. Can the hot birds beat corpses? It's a good question. I think it can. I just need to play better. Yeah, okay. This is gonna suck. <laughs> but we can be over that. <gasps> we have... Okay. I need... I need Time Wizard. And we can make the biggest possible Harpy's Dragon. What do you got? 3,500? Also, that is definitely a trap that will kill me. I was given Jinzo right before this for a reason. This is not ideal. Wait. No, that's not good, actually. I was going to say, I could fuse both of these Harpy's Dragons together to make a 3,700, but not strong enough. Let's see. Do you have the right Guardian Star for this? Oh, you do. Okay. I'm going to leave it in attack because that trap will kill me. I have to throw something at the wall. Do you have a Guardian Star that can beat me? You do not. Okay. This is not ideal. Oh, get scolded, idiot. Jesus Christ, that was a 4,300? Where did that come from? It's Peter, the bestial. But I do have Crush Card Virus, so, uh, F you, Peter. Alright, I'm not attacking because that's like a solemn authority. Like, guaranteed. Uh oh. Oh, it was a Crush Card Virus! He baited me! Ah, tits. I have so many equips in my hand right now. Bro. I have so many equips. Okay, so Bonds doesn't actually have defensive traps, it seems. That would have been good to know. Am I more of an ass or titties? Uh, I'm a thighs guy. I'm, I'm a big fan of thighs. Feet are hit or miss for me. <laughs> How, how do you explain it? I'm not, like, into feet, but, you know, there's so... Sometimes there's tw there's artwork on Twitter where you're like, damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's a 5,100 attack monster. That was a 5,100 attack monster. Do I need to play Persona 4? Um, the fighting one? Do you have piercing damage? Excuse me. Are you a 4k beat stick with piercing damage? You are, you asshole. Okay. Who's ready for graceful dice? It doesn't tell me what I roll, so I just have to do- Oh my god! I have to do the math myself. Are you ready to die? Oh, this guy is fucked. <laughs> this guy is screwed. Alright, let's see if this works. I lead with a 3,700. Do you have a response? Oh my god, he does. It's Metal Zoa. Uh-oh. This sucks. I need dragons and a lot of them. Oh, we just lose here, I think. Because I did not pull the cards I need. Well, let's just hope he doesn't summon another creature. Right, but a divinity is not good enough. Oh, okay. But we have the right Guardian Star, so... Unless he sacks his own creature to get rid of it. Which he is smart enough to do, okay. I needed another dragon and Blustering Wind's not a fairy. I, mean, I can make like a 3,800, so fuck it. Alright, so this is gonna suck. I think it's doable, but we just need to get lucky. Oh my god, I live one more turn. Oh, we didn't... That would have been perfect if we'd pulled Time Wizard. All right, we'll try again. Oh, this sucks. We need to get lucky like two or three times in a row. Why is everything a gauntlet? <laughs> Let me save after every duel. I need Harpy's Pet Dragon, like ASAP. Okay, throw these away. This is gonna suck. I just need to pull up Harpy's Pet Dragon. I got a three in 28 chance. That's a 3 and 28. Hey, Okay, perfect. Are you ready? I mean, it's not going to get any, like, buff, I don't think. Other than the equips. Unless it gets a free 800 for having the winds in my hand when it was summoned. 
But that's a 4,500 without any wins in my hand. Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't benefit, but... Zero equip, like zero wins in hand, I can still make a 4,500 beat stick. Which is nice. Just please. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, he sacked the fossil dragon. Yeah, it can't be his FMA, I know. They're happy to sack and they're happy to swap guardian stars too. Oh, so I choose one guardian star that's the right option and then they'll just choose a different guardian star. That's so annoying. You can't even, like, outmaneuver them with a 4,500 attack monster. Bro, that was like my whole hand went into that fusion and it still wasn't good enough. Oh my god, do you have a bot? Do you have a guardian star? Oh, of course you do. <laughs> Yeah, 4,300 defense first turn, 4,500 attack second turn. This game gets insanely brutal. I'm just gonna crush card. I love how crush card is basically a Raigeki because nobody summons anything lower than 1,500. It's kind of crazy. Also, I pulled four of my eight fairies that I have in the deck. No, I just can't get a break. I have trap cards, but see, here's the issue, right? If you- you don't want to have too many traps, because if you play a trap, you can't play a monster. That's the issue. If you play a trap card, you also can't play a monster, so you don't want too many traps. Otherwise, you literally won't have anything on field. It's why in the base game, it's so annoying, because to pl- you need a good field spell, right? In the main game, you need to play, like, Mountain or Umi. Like, turn one or turn two. But if you play it, you then take 4,000 damage to the face. Because you can't play a monster after putting the field to your benefit. You have to tank, like, half your life points in order to set up. It's crazy. Because I just lose this turn because I didn't draw anything good. Like... I don't know what I'm meant to do in this scenario. I mean, I guess I could do Raijin, but that's not strong enough. We beat this guy, like, earlier, so I don't understand why we can't get the right cards now. 4,300 hard drop. Bro. Where are my 4,300 hard drops? Them having their preferred field buff is really annoying. I don't like that as a concept. Even in the original game, I dislike that. They should spend a turn setting up their field spell. They should not get it for free. Every enemy basically just being given a free 500 attack buff is crazy. It's like my one like major complaint with a lot. A lot of mods do this as well. Yeah, like no counterplay whatsoever. Like, look at that! I made a 3,500 and it just immediately got counted by like, almost 5k. Like, bruh. That is not a dragon! There are no dragons there, you bastards. I have ten of them in my deck! A literal quarter of my deck! <laughs> a literal quarter of my deck is dragons and I didn't pull one of them! Yeah, monsters are all just insanely strong. You don't- If you don't draw your, like, a massive combo turn one, you just lose, yeah. Yeah, you need- you need to draw a 5k beat stick or lose, but the problem is you don't even get like the modern Yu-Gi-Oh, oh, I can search for a card. It's literally what are your first five cards, can you combo off of it or not? There's literally no draw potential, no search function. You just need all your combo pieces in hand immediately. Like this sucks. Bro, that's a 4,800 just out of the box. What the fuck? Oh, uh, if first of the dragons was a wind, this would be perfect right now. Fuck it, let's just throw like all of these together. Just throw, doesn't matter what it ends up as. Oh, actually, that's not a bad end result. TBH, that's not actually that bad. God damn, I might just actually throw away graceful dice because it is just, it's gumming me up right now. Yeah, graceful dice is really good, but right now... I'm just- I really need Time Wizard. <laughs> I am hunting for one of my three Time Wizards that I can't seem to get the good luck to draw. What the hell is happening? 
Where are my three time wizards? What be happening here? I really want to play my Harpy's Dragon, but I don't think we have time to do it. I'm going to test this instead. Oh, that's a strategy that works. Yeah, time wizards are just currently in the sauna. Like, where are they? <laughs> Literally, where are they? I'm in my last 12 cards and I haven't seen a single one of them. Bro. At least we just win. I got down to my last 12 cards, didn't see a single time wizard, but thank you, Azabeth, for being OP as hell. Yeah, they're in my tomorrow, yeah. This is where being able to save deck recipes would be a godsend, because I'd love to keep what I have, but also try other things. Holy shit. Oh my lord, it's happening. We got the god draw. <laughs> we got the god draw. Yeesh. Well, it might just die because Bandit Keith will just pull some nonsense, but hey, it was cool. There's limiter removal. Makes a 6,600. Cool. Keith Destiny drawed his fucking way out of that. Yeah, he was able to call it as well, yeah. What a surprise! He- I pull out an amazing, perfect turn one hand and he just fucks me. That is, once again, not Time Wizard of Tomorrow! Where is the boy? I think I just die this turn. We haven't seen it in two dolls. I have three of them! <laughs> Where is my Time Wizards of Tomorrow? Bro exists in tomorrow's deck, I guess. Cheat! Yes, you did cheat, actually, Bandit Keith. I made a 5,200 and you were like, Tihit, limit or removal. Turn one! <laughs> you made a 6,600 turn one! You're cheating! We have such a good deck right now, and it we just can't win with it even still. All right, well, I have another baby dragon. Let's see if I can pull Time Wizard. Or maybe it's not in my deck for the third time in a row. Hey! Okay, uh, only issue is he will not be strong enough. So, <laughs> yeah, I need to set Graceful Dice if I can as well, yeah. But here's the thing, if I set Graceful Dice, I just die next turn. That's the issue. I mean, it's just not strong enough because we didn't get a Blistering Winds with it. We need Blistering Winds with that guy. No, let's just, let's just end ourselves. GG, go next. Oh yeah, this is totally fair and balanced. Yeah, he he could just start with a field buff, summons 4,500s every turn when I need, like, god luck to even summon a 4,000 attack. My Harpy Dragon can be a 5 to 6k beat stick, provided I don't brick every duel. <laughs> Here's the issue, right? I can play that. I can destroy a monster for free, but then I still have to take 4k to the face for it. Honestly, I'm starting to think about ditching the traps. The traps are not saving me. What I need... To make this more consistent. I'm getting rid of some of the fairies, right? I don't want to drop all the fairies because it's a good extension card. But what's bugging me right now... Is the trap cards. I'm going to take a fucking hit here, right? But we're going to make a Thunder Titan and hopefully give it a humongous buff here. This is how we have to play this game now. We have to tank a hit. Pray that we hit more than a one. All right, so it's 3200. Hey, 4200. That's not too bad. We rolled a two then. I rolled a two. Yippee. We make first of the dragons. Wait, that doesn't buff thunder. Oh, he's not a dragon type. He's a thunder type. Oh, interesting. Bad guardian star. Good guardian star. That felt a lot more simpler. Just a couple more dragons is helping us pull out a titan better. And titan benefits from all of our equips too. Yeah, no limiter removal, please. 
Just no lim Fuck me. That's like beautiful almost to see three Thunder Dragon Darks in the same hand. Oh, Dark Energy fuses with Prime Material, does it? Is it worth putting in the deck just for that though? Oh, cool! Limiter removal! Again! That's a 7,000 attack monster! This game's fun. <laughs> it's just not enough, is it? It's just never enough! No matter what I do, we don't have enough wind types in our hand right now. Despite over half my deck being wind type monsters. <laughs> That's still not great! <laughs> Let's just make it for fun. Harpy's Pet Dragon has so much potential, but it's so hard to pull off sometimes. So it should be like a 4,000, 5,000 attack if we didn't keep pulling the trap card, which is bothering me. Yeah, it has potential, but can brick hard. And here's the thing. If I don't use Solemn Scolding and swap it for Power Creep, <laughs> it's such a dumb way of thinking. But I don't know if anybody understands where my brain is going with this. But if I just have strong monsters, I don't need to trap card them. It, it is modern Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? Trap cards are too slow. I just need to overpower them. Yeah, ditch trap cards too slow. Just make big boss monster instead. I like this thought process. This, this pleases me. Do I just solo ray you? Oh wait, I can double equip you? Haha. <laughs> like, I'm of both mindsets is the problem. It's like, on the one hand, setting back row does feel like a waste of a turn. But on the other, sometimes it's so goaded. Sometimes it works really well. It's like a gamble, really. Setting back row in this game is a complete gamble. Because you either set it and die anyway. Or you set it and it actually works out and you get a free massive hit. Let's just throw all of it to the wall. And get honest. Except my card draw luck is awful right now. I never drew honest. We failed to draw honest. Womp womp. Well, I live another turn and I still didn't draw it. I'm not... <laughs> I keep drawing random cards. I'm not drawing, like, the same monster twice for first. I'm not drawing anything that fuses. The deck is bricking on purpose, I swear. We literally, two turns in a row, drew a, dr a pet dragon, a luster dragon, and a sacred crane. Two turns in a row, we drew the same three cards. Maybe I shouldn't put stock into the, the chaos angel. <laughs> I literally saw a dark angel and dark honest, and I was like, <gasps> I can make the angel. Oh, we have a 3,700. And he's matched me immediately. <laughs> oh, he had the perfect Guardian Star Terror. Sad. Oh! Well, ask and ye shall receive, I guess. I don't know if it's any good. It is Chaos Angel. What are you? 3,500, no effect. Oh, also treated... Oh. Is also treated as a light monster for equips. Interesting. Okay, so we could actually use Solar Ray on that. I have a plan, and I'll probably die for it, but it's okay. I'll just crush card virus this. It does feel like a coin toss on whether you draw well enough to win. The Sacred Crane will bait. It's fine. We're almost gonna die, but we shouldn't die. Nice. We baited the AI into not playing something insane. And I didn't get the card I wanted. Awesome. <laughs> Yippee. You know what? Graceful dice. Let's just buff our guy. Oh, that was a big buff. Okay. <laughs> that might have been worth it. Can I use anything? Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Wind. Invoked Rage Jin. This is why we keep Alistair online. Hi, you're in attack position now. Sucks to be you. Alright. Keith, you're gonna cheat on the first turn again? Pulling out limit or removal because I made a strong creature? Not great. 
What's the play? What is the play here? If I throw these two away, if we pull Harpy's pet baby dragon next turn, this will be huge. Oh! Okay, this is huge. It's not huge. I need equips. God damn it. Hard drop Alistair and pray we get like a blustering winds or something. Ooh, we baited. Okay, that's helpful. That is a... Th okay. It should be 3,600. Theoretically, this should be a 3,600, right? No, 4,400 because it's 800 per. Yippee! Alright, this guy buffs Harpy. Tank the trap for me. Thank you, First of the Dragons, for being a 1,000 equip. Surely you can't beat my 5,400 now. Surely to God. Keep doing that little chunk of damage. What the hell is this? You don't work with it, do you? Wait, you are a wind though, right? Okay, yeah. I, I debated myself. Oh, it ain't a baby no more. <laughs> this ain't no baby dragon no more. <laughs> Harvey's pet baby dragon is my boss. Slot machine. I'm not putting that in my deck. <laughs> Sorry, Bandit Keith. This isn't over yet, punks. Next time you'll see. Uh... Can I say, yeah, I can save the game. For the masochists that went through all that and managed to make it out through the other side, good job, you can save the game and never have to deal with those two ever again. Unless of course you wish to grind them before proceeding, which isn't a terrible idea as they do both have some fairly nice drops. Bones has a few strong zombie types, including some zombie dinosaurs if you wanted to build a dino deck using Rex as well. And while Bandit Keith does not drop limiter removal, he does have some strong machine types, as well as the rare Metamorph equip, which can be used to buff machines and also is used as fusion material for a number of fusions, like Red Eyes B Metal Dragon or Cyber Slash Harpy. It's just a case of whether or not you have the willpower and mental fortitude to duel them again so soon. Whichever option you decide to go for, you'll be glad to know this next segment is a little bit more forgiving. We randomly switched to Joey's perspective for this next part, but don't worry, you keep the deck you had as Yugi. And then we duel Yugi as Joey, and he now has a very stereotypical Yugi deck with spellcasters and some warriors. He is really strong, but the duel does feel winnable if you manage to handle Keith at least. But there is something very interesting about this duel. That's fine. That was thought. Huh? I didn't need to win. Yup, losing doesn't game over you in this one specific instance. So whether or not you beat Yugi here doesn't really matter. But it is worth noting you won't unlock him as a duelist in free duel if you don't beat him here. So it might be worth quitting and reloading in case you need to grind him later. If you're hoping to build a spellcaster or warrior focused deck. Or are in need of some good spell and trap cards like Swords of Burning Light or Magic Cylinder. If you do plan on beating him before proceeding, Here's some words of advice. He plays a lot of powerful cards, but nothing you shouldn't be able to handle at this point. You'll just need to take down the monsters that come out at around 4,000 attack before he has a chance to equip to buff them further. His utility is what makes him really annoying to duel, because his traps might be a simple negate attack, or there could be a mirror force destroying all your monsters, or magic cylinder, which is deadly in this mod as you're likely running minimum 4,000 attack monsters consistently. He can also play Dark Paladin, which destroys all dragons when summoned. So if you're running a lot of dragons in your deck like I was, then this duel can be especially annoying. If you aren't interested in Yugi's drops, then all you need to worry about is Mako Tsunami. His duel is very similar to Keith's, but there's more chance you'll get lucky and won't have to deal with a 6000 plus attack monster. This is because his main boss creature is Mega Fortress Whale, a 2550 attack monster that buffs by 800 per water monster in hand. And because this is Forbidden Memories, the AI loves to cheat, and he often gets the maximum buff possible as a result, giving him a monster with around 6,500 attack, as it's also buffed by the Umi terrain the duel starts with. But, if you get lucky and this monster doesn't come out, 
or if it doesn't end up with the maximum buff possible, then the worst you'll face is just under 5,000 attack, which is still kind of insane. But luckily if you're running the Thunder Dragons deck, as many do for this mod, they also get buffed by the Umi, which helps a lot. He also doesn't really have any utility outside of giant boss monsters. Apparently he runs Torrential Tribute, but I never saw it, and also I believe this destroys his own monsters as well. The only other trap he will run is Fury of Karyu Shin, which destroys specifically Pyro types. But if you're running a Pyro deck, I think you already knew this duel would suck for you, and we're probably planning on pivoting into a different strategy if only for this one duel. These duels can be harsh, but at least you only need to win the one before you can progress to the next save point. Ready? Duel! Am I Joey now? The fuck? Um, I thought I was Yugi. Now I'm Joey. All right, this might suck, but we'll try it anyway. Oh, goody. You know what? Actually, a 4K isn't even that scary anymore. I see 4K and I'm like, whatever. It's not a 7K friggin' limiter removal thing. Yeah, I saw four cards and was expecting max attack as well. If I can pull Time Wizard, we can make a really strong boss monster. But I'm worried about that back row. Well, he's got his big boss monster now. That's now 5-400. I think I can about match that if I pull the right cards here. Nope. Not what we want. Alright, well at least we got to save right before this. At least we got to save right before this nonsense. This seems doable. We just need to not have such a bad start. Oh, now you arrived. Time wizard. Now you come. You know what? Just for your... <laughs> for your lateness, considering you are a clock. You get to die. Oh, it's a negate attack. Okay. Oh, but it reduces your attack to zero. Unless that's what he just summoned that did that. Yugi didn't murder me for losing. That's very kind of him. I agree. This sea will drown your entire deck. I am not a freaky fish guy. We'll probably lose to him anyway. Let's be for real. The first time I duel anybody, we never win. I feel like Graceful Dice is very situational now. If we get it at the right time, I'll use it. If we don't, I need to just throw it away. Because we do not ha Oh, hey, Water Dragon. <laughs> uh, if we don't get it at the right time, it just... It's too slow. Is it going to be strong enough? I mean, it'll make it a little bit stronger. 3,000, do you get... 3,800, is it? Cool, I can make a 3,800. He does have 4, 300 defense, though. He didn't show up to, to game over me. Yeah, at least the field here being water does make sense. We literally challenged him in an aquarium. Not out in the street against Rex and Weevil and they just randomly appear. They made the field into a wasteland and a forest somehow. I have the time wizard and dragon combo. All I need now is equips or a bunch of wins. Oh my fucking god, Arcana Knight Joker. <laughs> Good lord. Will I die if I cast Crush Card Virus here? I think I will. I think... 3,000... 4,500 though? Okay, I have to Crush Card. Because it won't be strong enough, I don't have a buff of 800. That works, but I am scared of what the fuck that is. Well, we have to we have to risk it, don't we? It might just be a negate attack again. Nah, Time Wizard doesn't have the coin flip effect. It's also Time Wizard of Tomorrow, not normal Time Wizard. So I don't know if that's, like, actually a thing. Oh, baby, look at that 6,100 buff. Just don't be card destruction, just be negate attack, please. Thank you. We strong now. Oh, Swords of Burning Light. What the hell is that? Excuse me, sir. I would like to ask a question. What the hell? What is Swords of Burning Light? <laughs> Does anybody know? I'm scared. <laughs> oh, destroys all face. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. 
It was literally just attack prevention then. Whew. He plays attack prevention. That's totally okay with me. Wait, where the fuck did my monster go? Excuse me? Hold the phone. Excuse me, sir. Oh, cool. When he summons Dark Paladin, it kills my dragons. That's fun. That's a fun mechanic that I really enjoy. Oh, boy. <laughs> me when I cheat. Yeah, for real. Oh, my God. Just throw everything together. I hate this guy. I hope Yugi's the only one that has that, because that is BS. Dragons being the strongest type, and then Yugi just having a way to counter that entirely. It's crazy. I guess so. Let's just... Do you make duo? I think you do, don't you? Yeah. Oh, but he's thunder type, so he gets a buff. Okay, thunder dragon dark is the strat here. You know, I actually want to lose because I want to beat Yugi. Ideally. But now we know when we get to Mako, we have to dig immediately for Thunder Dragon Titan. That's actually huge for us that we can... I forgot he's like also Thunder. Yeah, we can grind Yugi and Friedel if... If he'll let us. But yeah, I'm talking to Joey there. And then the next day, I'm suddenly Joey. <laughs> I don't know who I am anymore. Who am I? Ah. Well, there's turn one Arcana Knight, but that's okay. It's not so bad. Um, What the fuck is happening? Why am I pulling, like, the weirdest shit right now? My hand is all over the place. My drawers are so garbage. Maybe we were Wheeler all along. I guess maybe we just need to be Joey for this arc so we have an excuse to duel Mako and Mai. Because I'm assuming Mai might be soon if we are... Oh my god, what is this garbage? Bro, <laughs> what are these hands? <laughs> I can't seem to ever pull double of the same monster. Oh, Mai's after the rare hunters. Oh, okay. So we've got a little bit before we get to upgrade our harpies then. If I pull another dragon, we could make the triple and immediately buff it. What are the odds that I pull one of my, like, 10 dragons? I have, like, a 10 in 35 chance right now. This is gonna suck, but if I pull a dragon, then it kicks ass. Oh, baby! <laughs> Yippee! Because it's also a thunder, so it gets buffed by the field. And now, we just pray that we get, like, more than a two on this dice roll. Yay! <laughs> Fuck you, Megalodon. <laughs> we just need to rely on gacha. Like, most of the time in this game, we just need to rely on gacha. I am relying on... Lo I am the Joey. I use graceful dice and well actually that was double layered gacha wasn't it? I needed to look out on getting a dragon. Are you fucking serious? You just hard dropped a 6750 attacker. That's meant to be 2550. It came out at 6750. How m I'm not a math guy, but how many water types do you have in your hand, sir? Is it more than 5? I can't counter that. I literally have no way to counter that. The game was just like, haha, fuck you. That's ridiculous. I had a humongous boss. And he was just like, let me just hard drop some of the beats over it. Didn't fuse, didn't equip. Just hard drop something that beat over my fucking multi-level equipped Thunder Dragon Dark. You can't just hard drop almost 7k. Like, I know I will... Like, once we fight Mai, and I'm able to grind three Harpies Dragons, I probably will be in the same position where I can just hard drop 7k off of that. But still, that's insane. Iangi. Unless we can just look out and get the right Guardian Star. I don't remember what I need. Not Pluto, is it? 
Oh, okay. I can use Pluto against you. Oh, Mirror Force? Okay, he does have one aggressive trap. Okay, he's played 4,500 turn one. That's totally okay. Ooh, perfect. Okay. I will accept this. Titan and two blustering winds. That should be enough. Theoretically. <laughs> Plus Pluto should be also the correct guardian star. Yeah. Okay. What hardcore bullshit are you going to pull out? Oh, is that the hard drop 6750? You know it, bro. Oh, it's 5950 this time. With a guardian star that beats my ass. <laughs> I hate this guy. This guy is the not fun. Yeah, what a surprise. Mako drew his out. Almost as if he has his, his, has his entire deck in his hand. What the f <laughs> Game! What is this? <laughs> Why are you giving me two solar rays now? Christ. Uh, bro, I made such an amazing Dragon Titan and he immediately plays his, like, the... Also, you know what the problem is? It's not even a hard drop 6750. He needs to have a handful of water monsters for it to be strong. And he always does. He always has, like, four water monsters every time he drops it. It's always getting maximum value. It should be less than 3k. But it's becoming 5 to 6k every time. Oh, is that kills all dragons by chance? Oh no, it's High Paladin. Wow, only beat over me by 100 that time. Ah, okay. This works. This should be quite a strong Harpy's Dragon. It's going to die instantly. But it'll be cool. It'll be really cool to see. I mean, that's 5,100. I mean, it's going to die this turn because they always draw their perfect out. Let me guess. Destroys all dragon cards? Oh, he didn't. Look at us go. Fuck it, we ball. I was going to say, if we save it, then... Then if he plays Paladin, I could counter. But I think we just have to go face as hard as possible. Take no risks. Just destroy it with our strongest. Hey! Yugi dead! Alright, now we just need to beat Mako. <laughs> now we just need to not have Mako... Ooh. Wow, this sucks. Um... <laughs> Honestly, if we can pull Harpy's Dragon, this is fine. But let's chuck everything else here. What the fuck is Shadow's Light? What did I just make? It's a shame it didn't really do much for me. Okay. I need... I'm going to throw away my Time Wizards. I need, like, two dragons right now. Oh, I can make Dragon Duo. It's not fucking ideal, though. <sighs> Fuck it. We ball. It's really not ideal, but at least it's a 5,300, you know? That's not an insta out. I just need to get real lucky. Mako has summoned Water Dragon more than Bastion ever could. That's a frog. The fuck is that? That's a scary looking frog. Alright. I'm going to bait in an attack on the Sacred Crane. Okay, it's another Water Dragon. Can I get... Okay, perfect. We got another big Dragon Boy. We'll win in two turns regardless, so... <gasps> that Thunder Dragon isn't strong enough, bro. How did that guy get up to 5,200? The fuck? Alright, well, he can't attack us right now anyway. So I have time to Graceful Charity. 
I have time to dice right now. So let's do that. Oh, humongous dice, actually. Dice was huge. Oh, graceful ch- We are Joey! We are Joey! <laughs> Please let me save the fucking game. Do not make me duel somebody else right now. Dang, you got a lot better. I know my cards are in good hands now. See ya! Please let me save the game. Oh, thank fuck. Oh. Now we come to the midway point in the game, and where I currently am in my own playthrough. While I don't know enough about this segment of the game yet to give a whole lot of advice or information, I can explain why it's our current roadblock. This segment sees you facing down the rare hunters. First up being Seeker, who I never typically have troubles with. He does have Exodia if you're really unlucky, but otherwise mostly plays creatures around 3000 attack, which as crazy as it sounds isn't really that scary anymore. At worst he will sometimes pull out Shadow Firestorm Monarch, which is another creature with the chance of buffing itself based on fire types in hand. But because he doesn't play too many fires, it typically comes to around 5000 attack at maximum. He can also play Invoked Pug Trio, which is insanely powerful if the duel lasts a while as it buffs itself per card in Graveyard. But typically duels aren't lasting long enough for this to be a threat. Actually, if you have Alistair in your deck still, and a fire attribute card, you can make this yourself. With how much fusing and cycling you have to do as the player, it actually can see quite a benefit in our hands instead. He can also play Swords of Burning Light to stop you attacking for two turns, and Golden Apples which heals him for 8000 life points. Basically, this guy isn't too much of a threat, he mostly acts as a speed bump to the rest of the gauntlet, just getting in the way and stalling you from re-attempting the other duel you probably lost to. Next is Arcana. His deck is like a slightly weaker version of Yugi's from earlier. So if you did manage to beat Yugi in the optional duel, you'll probably not have too much trouble with this one either. Although he does get the advantage of starting with Yami Field buff. Arcana's whole strategy is to pull out a 3000-ish attack dark monster and equip them up to 4 or 5000 attack. So as soon as you have a creature above 5000 attack, you're usually okay. That is unless he plays Shrink or Trap of Darkness, so making sure to have a backup option is ideal. This duel for me has been completely hit or miss. I either dominate him or get overwhelmed too quickly with no in between. Next up is Strings, and I have no idea if this is the end of this gauntlet because I haven't been able to get that far yet. But I sure hope it is because this duel will be your first encounter with the card I like to call the You Lose button. So after the coin toss of just getting this far, Strings Arsenal is already pretty unfair. A ton of 3000 plus monsters that will benefit from the army buff, and plenty of equips to make them even worse. But by far the most overpowered, unfair piece of his kit is the equip spell Ririoku. Players of Doors of the Roses will be familiar with this card, and you'll be traumatised to know it works exactly the same way here in this game. Ririoku is an equip spell that buffs his creature by an amount equal to half of your life points, meaning 5000 attack increase if played turn 1. And while limiter removal at least halved Keith's life points earlier, this takes away from your life points. Meaning not only does he get a giant boss monster, you take 5000 effect damage. All of this with no cost on his part. So get ready to lose turn 2 if this comes out and you weren't expecting it. Same as before with Keith, you can use the same answers to destroy the creature that he buffs, or try to negate the spell entirely. But there's no way to predict it, so you need to get lucky that he either doesn't play it, or it's played into one of your traps. This gauntlet is my current dilemma I need to find an answer to. As the prior duels can boil down to sheer luck as well, you need to pray you spared some luck going into this one. And if you get unlucky then be prepared to go back through Seeker and Arcana a few times before you get another shot. I have no clue who is that Merrick guy! <laughs> Wow, he is really angry. Oh, six enemies? Why is mine so far away? Why do you get dark field buff? Asshole. I know you're not going to be strong enough. But I think that trap is dangerous. Just a negate attack. Okay. Oh, it stops me from attacking with anybody. Okay, it does work properly. No, yeah, I'll, I'll make this guy. Why not? He's not going to be very strong. But I'll take it. Oh, he literally didn't get a single buff, Lamau. I like this. For some reason, this is working at the moment. Do we win? 
Alright, you're definitely going to be above 1,500 attack, aren't you? Because nobody plays anything lower than 1,500 attack in this game. <laughs> Crush Card Virus is basically the new Raigeki. Who is that Merit guy? And what does he want with me? Arcana! You will find our master very soon if you manage to defeat us. Pleased to meet you, Yugi. I am Arcana, the greatest illusionist and magician since Har Harry Houdini himself. Who's this Harry Houdini guy? <laughs> oh, it's such a gamble. It's such a gamble, though, isn't it? If I play Graceful Dice, if we pull a Thunder Dragon or Time Wizard, we're goated. I need that Joey look. Time Wizard or Thunder Dragon Dark. And we kick ass. Oh god, I'm getting a 4,800 to the face. It's Sagdafleur. Alright. Go on, look. That is a... That is a dark energy. I don't think I can do anything with these three right now. Unless I get, like, a really good Tornado Dragon buff. Like, if I get, like, a 3,000 attack buff off of Graceful Dice, I think is my only way out of this. Go on! Six roll! Ooh, okay. We actually did get the six roll because it's 3,000, right? Let's go! <laughs> Nat six, baby! I'll show you the real strat. First of the dragons, plus 1,000 on equips, then buffs himself by 1,000, and also will buff Tornado by 1,000. I think that's probably more value, unless Lavinia has, like, a really good ability. That's just big beat stick right there. I know what we do here. We bin off other stuff. I'm just gonna put Time Wizard of Tomorrow down. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not fun. That's a bit BS. Cool, we got one turned because he Ruriokud me. That's cool. So strings can just make a 9,000 attacker on the first turn. And also half my life. That's fun. Like, I've been able to pull out some insanely strong cards, but I just can't... can't... There's no way for me to counter a 9k. That's the issue here. I have no way to stop when somebody Ruriokus me. Yeah, we just need to hope they don't have Ruryoku. Because that's what's screwing us up now. If they just get... Like, limits of removal on Bandit Keith and Ruryoku are the only things preventing us. So I used to be very self-conscious about my voice. I used to not really think it was that good. But... I was on the phone with my doctor one day because I have to do like calls with my doctor every now and then. I was talking to my doctor and they were like, oh, we've noticed you've been checking your blood sugar because I have to upload all my blood sugar readings. And they're like, oh, you've been checking your blood sugar at like two in the morning. Like, is everything okay? Like, what's going on? Do you work nights? I was like, oh, I do like video editing and voice acting stuff. And like, I was just kind of explaining to them like, you know, I'm not insane. I'm staying up because I'm working essentially. And they'll, in the background of the phone call, I hear one of the older nurses go, I thought he had a good voice for bingo. <laughs> and ever since, this old lady nurse was like, yeah, he's got a good voice for bingo, that lad. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, actually? <laughs> I like my voice now. An old lady said so. I'll just do that. First of the Dragons is probably one of our better strats here. If I swap Alistair for another Prime, I think that actually really improves our deck. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! He just pulls out a 5,200. Hmm. I don't have a turn to set up Graceful Dice. That's depressing. Um, I wish I had a turn. To set up Graceful, because then I could make First of the Dragons and buff it to High Hell. Well, you know what? 
The only chance I have of surviving is making first of the dragons and then buffing him. So let's just see if I survive. Which I do not because that's Sag de Fleur. Alright, what do they make? Dark Honest plus Alistair? That doesn't work! <laughs> do not feed me misinformation! <laughs> what? They don't mix! Well, that's a 4,600. That's cool, I guess. Fuck me, I guess. Let's just kill ourselves <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not that strong, actually. That also worked. Okay, well, this is enough for now. It's not ideal. But hopefully we get to survive a turn with a 3,700. If it lives, we can extend. We can combo off of this. If it dies, I think we just fucking... Okay. Okay. I was going to say, I think we just lose if that dies, but... Um, the rest of this hand is not great, so let's just throw away these cranes. Yeah, like, I hope there's no more um, gauntlets after this, I agree. Because this is brutal. That's just a hard drop of Exodia. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. God freaking damn it. Can I mix two of these time wizards together? That'd be fun. Oh, he played a second Exodia. I was not expecting that. I think, yeah, this is just a case of getting lucky, because apparently this guy doesn't want to play anything that strong anymore. There it is. Look at him go. <laughs> Watch him rolling. Watch him go. <laughs> Here come that boy. Oh, if I get... Okay, I'm just going to make this guy. Because if I get, like, two dark energies, we can make first of the dragons absolutely beefy. Oh. I can probably survive one turn. Well. Gotcha, here we come. I barely live. But I live. This is how we have to play... I can graceful dice. Okay, I'm definitely first of the dragon thing then. Oh. So first of the dragons plus an equip makes him a four thousand two hundred. But then I just need to roll like a two. Hey, but the question is, is that going to be an aggressive trap? It's not a trap. Do I get to keep my 5,200 or do you just hard drop something better? Shrink. Okay, yep. It wouldn't have mattered what I played then. I'm starting to think maybe Harpy's Feather Dust. No, actually, I was thinking, oh yeah, Harpy's Feather Dust would be great. And then I realized I'd have to spend a turn to play it. So then I would... I play Harpy's Feather Duster. I clear their field. They summon some at 5,000 attack. They hit me anyway. Or I just attack into it and not have a monster anyway. Clearing their backline with Harpy's Feather Duster would be useless, actually. But yeah, I think we're in that position now where the deck is fine, we just need to not brick. Which is asking a lot of a Forbidden Memories game. Is it worth it? I think I have to, right? I don't really have a choice. If I play anything weaker, I'll just become on the back foot too soon. Let's see if 3,700 is enough. Oh, he played Purgatrio. Turn one. I'm glad he played that now rather than later. Oh, oh, it's by a hundred as well, bro. That's just rude. I need like a thunder dragon or another dragon of the same type. Or we just make time wizard a fucking beast. Halt. Oh, he doesn't accept dark energy. Never mind then. Yeah, I didn't fancy my odds of graceful, graceful dice on that one. This I do. My odds on first of the dragon with graceful dice? There we go. Much better odds. <laughs> I needed to roll a one. I needed to... Oh, that's fine. I just needed to roll not a zero, which for some reason, I didn't like my chances. Wow, that's a weird... <laughs> I drew all three of my Harpy's pet dragons in the same turn. That's really strange. Alright, well, I'm going to make my Harpy's dragon 
for fun. I guess I'll just make first of the dragons, because that'll also buff everybody else on field. Let's go! Look at the strength on these boys! They're so chunky now. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have three different dragons in my hand. This is not ideal. I need, like, anything. Like, prime material. Thunder dragon. Not this. Oh, wait, that's, wait, that's not even strong enough? That's not strong enough! Well, this sucks. <laughs> it is literally just grinding until we get lucky now. The, the main game is the same way as this, though. At this point in the game, it's like, I think we're about the shrines, essentially. Where it is pretty much like, oh, did they summon Gate Guardian turn one? Oh, you just lose. I'll just spend these two turns fusing the ever-loving crap out of things. Oh, you're full 600 now. Perfect. All right, Arcana. Please don't be problematic, because... <laughs> I don't like having to keep redoing that guy. I'm just going to turn one graceful dice and just prage. I think that's a, always our best strategy. Graceful dice, turn one, we just plant it down and prage. I mean, there's 5,200 straight away. Do we get anything good? Double sacred crane? Not good, actually. Very not good. We have to bank on Tornado Dragon getting a humongous graceful charity again. Hey, is Neptune good against you? Nope. Even a th even rolling a six doesn't work here. No, I didn't roll a six anyway, but you know. Sacred Crane's really good at extending combos. But he's getting in the way of our turn one at the moment. We're not pulling off our turn one. But I don't know what I'd replace it with at the moment. So that's where we're at. And this brutal onslaught at the midpoint of the game seems like an apt point to end our in-depth review. As this is as far as I've gotten, but also you probably get how this mod works by this point. Every segment is a gauntlet of two to three duels, with each one power creeping the previous and relying on luck a little bit more each time. And you'll need to go and grind every opportunity you get in an effort to stay ahead of the game. It's brutal, and oftentimes downright unfair, but despite how it sounds, I actually love this mod. I've been having a lot of fun going through it. It only feels like a puzzle game the way you have to develop a strategy for each new challenge you face, and the difficulty of it is very much in the soul of the original game. It feels insane and unfair, yet with the right deck and a little bit of luck, it is beatable. I've played a lot of mods for this game, and the majority of them are crazy difficult. Although many others interpret the original game's difficulty as just making insanely high walls that are nigh impossible to reach, making them feel hopeless to beat no matter what you do. This mod features enough changes to help balance things just enough. All of the answers are there if you're willing to grind for them. Of course, this mod isn't going to be for everyone, especially if you aren't held by the Stockholm Syndrome developed by playing this game throughout your childhood, like myself. But as far as mods for this game go, the Last Memories is definitely one of, if not the best available out there. Difficulty aside, this mod has everything that made the original so great and more. Tons of new cards which come with new fusions along with them, and effect monsters which add a new depth to the duels. All of this means there's also much more freedom with how you want to build your deck. I've been trying to make Harpies work, but we've also been considering Red Eyes Dragons or Dark Magicians. There are a ton of different strategies to try, which was always my gripe with the original, which felt like making Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon was the only answer. And lastly, to top it all off, it also gives us alternate endings and new game plus content. A lot of love, time and attention to detail went into this mod. So much so it's impossible to say it's bad just because it's difficult. If you love the original and crave more, definitely give this one a shot. And if you're still not convinced or want to see even deeper into the mod, I'm playing through the mod still on my streams here on YouTube so you might be able to catch me going through the second half of this mod live. And it also means you can still watch and catch up on all the VODs of the previous streams where the footage for this video came from. But enough self-promoting. If you're still here, like, subscribe, all that stuff the YouTube algorithm loves for you to do. If there's another mod in particular you want me to look at more in depth, let me know. And if you like Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I don't just play for a bit of memories, I also do other old school Yu-Gi-Oh games like Tag Force. So check those out if you'd like. Alrighty, I've got to get back to grinding now to beat those rare hunters, so I'll see y'all in the next one.